you have questions about ritual magic or have you ever wondered what ritual magic can do for you? Well, you've come to the right place. This is Golden Dawn Imperator David Griffin, and this is Real Magic. One of our viewers here on Real Magic recently posted a question in the comments section that I'd like to address today. Simon Magus wrote, I have a question pertaining to the practice of magic. I'm currently living in a situation where I can't practice magic. By that I mean I have no place to practice in my house and anywhere I did practice would not be permanent. I'm also incapable of joining an order as there are no places nearby me. This might change in a few years, but for now I must deal with this. However, I do feel the drive to practice magic deep within my soul, a compulsion that hurts my very core. And I must figure out some way to get around this problem in practice. I wonder if I can create a portable space or something. What advice can you give me? Simon Magus, actually I do have some advice for you. Where can you practice ritual magic in your situation? Well, the short answer is, just about anywhere. Here's a couple of ways that you can do it. First of all, you can simply use your powers of visualization and go through the ritual mentally in your mind. I've performed the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram on numerous occasions this way and even the right of the middle pillar stuck in traffic on the way to work. Yes, it is possible. Perhaps a better possibility, however, is to take it outside. Have you ever noticed Chinese Americans outside in a park practicing Tai Chi Chuan? That's possible. Well, it's also possible to practice ritual magic outside in a park. There's nothing wrong with it. Of course, in an ideal situation, we'd all like to have a dedicated space, but it's not always possible. Also, you don't necessarily need to use magical implements. It's possible to use to practice ritual magic using nothing more than your index finger. Imagine that. Hermetic magic has been helping people to develop themselves spiritually for millennia already. The Golden Dawn has been making magicians since 1888. With people today already gaining huge benefits through pr the practice of Eastern spiritual practices like yoga or Tai Chi, why should something as valuable for Western individuals as the spiritual practice of ritual magic be locked away in the closets of secret societies. I'm of the opinion that it's time to get ritual magic out of the closet and out into mainstream thinking. This is the main reason that I'm here talking to you on Golden Dawn TV. Finally, Simon Magus, what makes you think that you can't learn and practice ritual magic with the help of a traditional school like the Golden Dawn simply because you don't have a Golden Dawn temple in your hometown? That's simply not the case anymore. Our order has created our distance training program, especially for people just like you, who don't have a Golden Dawn Temple near, nearby. You can learn ritual magic, you can study ritual magic, and you can practice met ritual magic under the guidance of an adept, no matter where you are in the world today. This is the beauty of our distance training program. To find out more about learning ritual magic with the Golden Dawn in a traditional order, in a traditional setting, have a look at our website at www.goldendawn.com. This is Golden Dawn Imperator David Griffin coming to you from Death Valley National Park this time here at the Oasis at Furnace Creek Ranch. And this is Real Magic.